Hi everyone, it's Artis from Main Carpentry. Today we're going to be building a uh, wardrobe under the scalings. So yeah, hope you enjoy it and I'll catch up with you soon. So what I'm doing here, I'll just explain you. I'm drawing out on the wall what angles we can have. So after I can uh, copy those angles and just cut it. And um, it saves you time for cutting uh, and taking apart your unit you've done because you will never ever get it if you go just by one angle because it slightly changes and you need to um, trim it anyway. So that's I find it easier by just throwing on the wall drawing out the cupboards and then just taking a bevel and working out the angle from there and in that way you save yourself a hell of a lot of time so yeah hope that helps someone
when you do these angled doors, the gap you want is around five mil, because otherwise, as you can hear, see here, it's slightly under, and if I demonstrate you, it will backbind slightly. So it needs to be around five millimeters, so it clears. Uh, and same thing, you need to have an angle in order to open it on the back of the door, just the top. Uh, it doesn't have to be anywhere else, just the top. But yeah, so that's how that's how it's gonna look.